uh, I know you covered Cleveland Cavaliers before coming to ESPN, which where many people know you. And I know now you're at Fox Sports One. Uh, LeBron James. And this is just a question I want to know. I, I, I often used to fight with one of my frat brothers and colleagues, Reggie Hunt. He thinks LeBron James is the greatest player of all time. I say different. Where do you stand on this? I think LeBron is second to Michael Jordan. I'm sure you probably have Jordan too. Yes, um, I have Jordan. Yeah, it's it's several types, several angles for the argument. I, I believe why Jordan's the GOAT. Number one. And, and you, and I'm sorry to cut in. You would even put LeBron ahead of Kobe? Yes, I would. Even I, with less rings? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Rings is, you know, and, and people get confused, like, because we do focus on rings a lot. But rings is a part of the equation. It's not the ultimate, you know what I mean? It, uh, other In that case, Bill Russell would be the GOAT. Mm -hmm. But I look at various things, like, Bill Russell had incredible... I mean, he won 11 championships in 13 years. That's that's ridiculous. Correct. But he individually, he didn't put up the type of, he didn't have the type of statistical dominance that a Michael Jordan had. Michael Jordan had incredible team dominance and individual dominance. So you have to have both, in my opinion, to be the GOAT. Um, and you got guys that have great individual, Wilt Chamberlain. Incredible statistics and two championships, but not enough of the winning to make him the GOAT. Um, so as far as LeBron and Jordan, the way, remember when LeBron was in Cleveland and he went to eight straight finals from Miami yep. to Cleveland? I mean, he had the Eastern Conference on a lock. Like, every team knew you know, Cleveland winning it. You know, LeBron's going to win the East. And when you'd see, when they get to the conference finals, Toronto would have had a great season. Boston had a great season. And then they get to LeBron in the conference finals and they fold, you know, because he was just, they knew. Well, LeBron did that to the Eastern Conference. Michael Jordan did that to the entire league. Exactly. He put the whole league on a lot, not just the East, all right? That's number one. Number two, Jordan did not, have any weaknesses. There was no weakness in his game. Awesome defender, awesome score, awesome jump shooter, shot the three. I mean, people might point, oh, look at his three-point percentage. First of all, it was the same as Kobe Bryant's. So it wasn't horrible, okay? But back in that day, people didn't emphasize the three like that. If Jordan were playing today, he would shoot the three a lot more and shoot it a lot better. But the fact is, at that day and time in that game, not being a terrific three-point shooter or shooting them a lot was not a weakness, okay? So his foul shooting was tremendous. He could finish. Like, there was nothing he couldn't do. LeBron, no, he was a powerhouse. He was, right. he was a powerhouse. For and as great as LeBron is, there are weaknesses I can point to. One is a small one, but it, it's, it's not a, a small one, but it's foul shooting. That's a, I mean, the fact that, He's not a guy that, you know, is going to shoot 80%, especially at the end of the game. That is a factor. And when you're, when you're dealing with all-time greats, you nitpick because they're all fantastic. It's just little things here, little things there that, you, that make the difference, you know, and, and that's one of them. I also think that, and this year, LeBron is off the ball a little more, but for the most part, LeBron has been overly ball dominant. Like he over dribbles, you know, and, and instead of being a part of the team system, LeBron becomes the system. And that's one that is a, a nod to his greatness, right? How great he is and that he can be the whole system, create all the offense and still be a very good team. That's what enables him to lift virtually any team to, being a playoff team or even a contender. But that makes it harder sometimes on some of your more gifted teammates because they got to figure out. And you, if you play any ball, if you, you know, you real, I've been on the court with dudes that were real nice, you know, 
and one's on one team, one's on another, and they each got handled. They they kind of the best player on their team, and they doing their thing, and then they get on the same team, and one of them has to take a back seat, and he kind of watching, and every once in a while I get his his, but the other dude got the rock right, and he doesn't know how to move without the ball. He's you know he doesn't you know he that's not his game, and with LeBron. When you're a guy that can do a lot of things on your own, it can be challenging to play with LeBron because the ball's in his hands for the most part, you know? And so, whereas with Jordan, Jordan fit into the triangle system. And Jordan was two dribbles, pull up. Three dribbles, dunk. Like, it wasn't no wasted just 15 seconds Mm -hmm. pounding the ball, everybody standing around watching. You know what I mean? He was moving. And that just, I, I think if LeBron early in his career had been put taught to play in a system and moved without the ball more and, you know, just didn't over dribble, he would have probably won more championships. And maybe that would have lifted him above a Jordan. Okay. Another question for you. Over the years we have, um, and, and, and I speak specifically to the NBA because I know you have covered the NBA as an insider analyst broadcaster for many years, writer. Um, there has been a debate uh, that the that the logo needs to be changed. New face, or well, not necessarily a new face, but a new silhouette um, moving away from Jerry West. Who in your opinion should it be? Well, I mean, I, a lot of people just say Michael Jordan because he's the best player ever. And But I, I don't I, – I think, number one, the Jumpman logo, if that's what you would use, is too synonymous with Nike and Jordan brand, you know. And so that would never work to me because when I see that logo, I'm not thinking NBA. I'm thinking Nike. Well, a, or a lot of people now are calling for Kobe, actually. Well, that's that's where I'm at. Um and I look, I'm fine with Jerry West. He was an all-time great player. I'm not been out of shape. You know, some say, well, he was a white dude and the league is dominated by brothers. I get that. But I'm not, you know, Jerry West is is cool and, and I'm fine with him. But I do agree with Kyrie Irving that I would like to see it change to Kobe. Uh, when Kobe died, I said on television, I thought that the league should retire his numbers, eight and 24 across the league. I thought that'd be an appropriate tribute, but I like what Kyrie's talking about because, you know, and some people would argue, well, why Kobe? Why not Kareem? Why not LeBron? Why not Jordan? Like all these other great players. But, and I get that. Cause even if you made it LeBron, when he retires, then people would say, well, what about Kareem or, you know, some of the other greats, or if you made it Kareem, they'd say, what about so-and-so? The thing is, the way Kobe died tragically, that would end all that. Nobody would be like, well, why Kobe? No, we understand. Because he was an all-time great player. He was an iconic player. And he died tragically. And no, I can't think of any other NBA superstars that have died in a tragic fashion like that. And so I think that would be a great way of immortalizing Kobe uh, to have him be the logo. It doesn't have to be the best player all time. He was one of them for sure. And I think that would be enough. So I I heard some people say every time they, if it was Kobe, every time they kind of saw the logo, it would, uh, you know, remind them of the tragedy. But the fact is we all remember, we all know what happened and we see, you know, the Lakers, are, I think they may even have Kobe something on their jersey or, you know, they'll acknowledge him at times. Uh, so we we all know. I mean, I don't think that's really an issue where we would be heartbroken by seeing the NBA logo because we're always thinking of what happened to Kobe. I think it'd be a great tribute and I, I will support it. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.